Welcome back, everybody, to the No Morning Show on TTT. We are also live on Talk City 91.1 FM and on Facebook at TTT Live Online. It is a pleasure being with you once again this Wednesday morning, beautiful Wednesday morning. And talking about Wednesdays, we have to talk about Elena Velafana Sylvester. She's always here with us on a Wednesday talking about some of the work that she and the organization feel are doing. And I know last week they started a conversation on schools and some of the work that, that yes. are ongoing yes. in different schools mm -hmm. to get it ready. Oh, when school open back. Exactly. Oh, what is happening? Oh, good, morning well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, I, good I morning. like having you. I'm so comfortable with you. You know, I pass you. Oh, Elena, what's up? You know, and, you know. I know, I know. And that's yeah. right. Um, well, th the members of the public were so excited about the interview last week when we started uh, talking about what was happening with schools that my office was inundated with phone calls uh, with people wanting to know more. Schools, principals, school teachers, parents wanting to find out who are members of their PTA, how can their school get on board. So I thought that we could talk about a bit about that this morning. How do schools register yeah. so that they can actually participate in the program? Mm. But let's just recap for those who would have missed it ah, from last yes. week. Mm -hmm. What exactly is happening? Okay, so FEEL is essentially providing materials to school um, in this particular instance. It's paint so that you could refurbish the buildings, so you could paint the walls in the classrooms and the outer building of the school. And um, there, it, it's a variety of colors, and we're basically giving schools over 2,000 gallons of paint will be shared right. out among schools, and uh, we have covered so far 12 schools have collected their um, paint supply so you will see some pictures of the schools um, actually collecting their paint we partnered with this with united way and with the tunapuna regional corporation mm -hmm. the tunapuna regional corporation has been absolutely fantastic they actually took the 275 gallon totes of paint uh, to their location mm -hmm. and then the schools go there and they fill buckets of paint um, with the colors that they want. Uh, I don't know if you, you do work on this, but I think it's something for the Ministry of Education, Carrie. I, I don't know if you had this problem, but when I was going to secondary school, every time I sit on a chair and get up, the rust would always be on my pants because the chairs are always so <laughs> rusty and old. And, and it's like, is somebody going to take care of this? Yeah. So it's, um, it's interesting that you mentioned that because we also distributed furniture okay, great, last yeah. week and we will be distributing more furniture. Um, the thing is that I have to inform schools that the schools that are already registered with FEEL, when we design these programs, it's based on the needs that are identified by the schools. So we do have furniture coming in, but that furniture is basically assigned. Uh, how do you already. work, or do you work with the Ministry of Education on this? Not directly. No. Not directly. No, no. Oh. No. So what we actually do is schools make contact with Field, uh -huh. and they speak to us about what their needs are. So they can actually do something where they send Field. First, they register with Field um, to get assistance, and then they complete a document called a called a needs list, and mm. they tell us what things the school needs, and then based on that. We use the, um, the pool of donations and our contacts locally and abroad to try and solicit donations to fulfill those needs. Yeah, and we can see some of the images uh, from some of the schools collecting items. Uh, yes, they yeah. were collecting paint. I don't think I have any in images of them collecting their furniture, but we gave out uh, approximately 200 um, tablet desks and chairs. Really? Um, to schools, we have, we gave out um, uh, bookshelves as well, so I know like Coreal, RC, they got um, bookshelves, and then we have lockers as well that um, that we will be giving out to schools. We have individual desks and chairs coming, infant furniture, etc. So, yeah. so I, I all mean, those I items will I be distributed. I went to a school recently. I'm not going to call the name of the school, and <laughs> let me let me just say that they really need to do some work on those schools and some schools because it's really really disgusting the condition of some of the furniture. I mean, some children, they, they would vandalize it, but I'm talking about the rusting of the chairs and the tables, and yeah, yeah. They, they really need to do some work. So probably the Ministry of Education officials are probably listening, and, and, and go in and check. I know that the Ministry always says it's under pressure financially, whatever, but um, FEEL is doing its part, I can tell. Yeah. And so if a school wants to get involved, how do they go about right. doing that now? So they can send an email to us at fieldtrinidad and tobago at gmail.com. Now, we typically focus on schools in rural communities. So if you look at our school list, uh, 
it's largely schools in, in rural communities that has been our focus. But it does not mean that, you know, other schools cannot um, register. This week, we got calls from a number of interesting institutions that we did not know um, mm. existed that are reaching, us, reaching out to us for help. But I also want to say that we extend this from um, preschool right up to secondary school. Um, we didn't do preschools initially, but we have received some requests from preschools to assist them with simple things, uh, again, like painting mm -hmm. their facility, and we can help in that way. Um, so really, the school has to, when they send in their request via email, we'll determine whether or not we can assist that school. And once we can, of course, supplies are limited as well. Then we will um, send them off the registration information and uh, they begin receiving their donations. Really, it's simple that as simple. that. Uh, yes. It's as simple as that. It's and as and as that. is there a contact number? Sure, 624-7758 or 624-7808. And people have a, and have a website. And that's We have our Facebook page, Facebook which page. is Field T and T. All right. So F-E-E-L-T-A-N-D. So, so what next for Field, though, after you finish with this project <laughs> right. that is ongoing? Okay. We are in the rainy season. We I are. need to find out what, what oh, is, what is <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know that a major aspect of what we do is about disaster prevention and recovery. So we have already begun that work. Last year when we came on to talk after the major floods, we told you that Field started to plan in December. Mm -hmm. So in December of the year before is when we start to plan for what is going to happen. And it's not just about rainy season. It's about any kind of disaster that might happen. So we've already begun those plans. We've given out, again, disaster blankets. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually been um, in touch with many of the um, regional corporations who are also talking to us about getting supplies and having access supplies. So we've maintained our, we have a new set of disaster stock that we can make available to um, individuals should the need arise. But on a monthly basis, Field gives out supplies to individuals who've been mm -hmm. affected by what we call silent emergencies, disasters. So our work continues in that. And yes, we are ready to right. assist. And that is most important, arise. being prepared. Being yes. prepared is most important. Elena Velasquez, yes. thank you so very much for joining us once again. I know we go